Big day at C-Mac today. What are we doing, guys? We're replacing the stuff in the studio. Woo New studio. It's also WWDC 2023 dub dub. Am I the only one who calls it dub dub? <laughs> That's the first time I've heard it referred to as dub dub. So. Right. Apple referred to it as dub dub in like 2018, and everybody made fun of them for it, and I think it's hilarious. Um, also, the desk is going to get fixed. Um, it's gonna be pretty sweet. What are you looking forward to the most? The new cameras in the studio or, or Apple headset? Oh, the headset. <laughs> what about you, Ben? The headset, the headset just looks and sounds fun. I'm excited for new cameras in the studio. I didn't say I'm, I'm excited. I asked what you were more excited for. I'm more excited for new cameras in the studio. I don't need a headset. <laughs> I love VR and AR stuff so much, so I'm like really excited to see what they do and how they do it. So that's why I'm more. Yeah, I, I'm excited about the potential of whatever Apple does in this space, but it's not like I need it. I need it. Right. It's not, it's not like the iPhone 4 was. Yeah, I'm just more excited for like the, like, Cool, we have another company that's entering this space, and where is this technology gonna go in the future? Because I like, I'm not gonna get this headset, whatever it is, I highly and, doubt and it. it a lot of rumors are that this is just, what get, whatever gets announced today is just gonna be for like developers. Exactly, anyway. it's like yeah. enterprise level stuff, right? Like yeah. I, but like, cool, we have more advancements in this technology that'll hopefully eventually trickle down to more okay. affordable consumer stuff. So I don't know, it, right. it's cool just to see, right? Yeah, it'll be it'll be very cool to see, but I'm still excited for cameras, new cameras. It's dub dub time, it's dub dub time! Bubbles. Bubbles. Dang, I wanna ride a bubble. Big screen, big screen, big screen, big screen. What if this was the one they got rid of the headphone jack? Thank goodness. Thank goodness they didn't. The Mac Pro's not dead! Almost ran into the TV. Oh man, that studio camera is so small compared to the big old ENG cameras. It's too low. You're gonna have to do your squats to, to sit oh, this to is kind of, this get is fine, someone. Dude. This to, is great. <laughs> <laughs> try to try to record a, a sit down interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as far as we can reconstruct. Is this the year we get Mac OS Fresno? Punching in the words awesome vineyard into maps and beeline. Nope, that's not us. To one of the most famous wine regions in the world. A place celebrated by the team, perhaps a bit too much, and beloved by millions. Introducing Mac OS Sonoma. Oh, there we go. So I can see my Apollo for Reddit. Here oh no, Craig, are you gonna pay the twenty million dollar bill for Apollo to keep accessing Reddit? Oh man, I need this guitar. I need it. I need it in my life. Uno mas, uno mas. One more thing. Wait, what is it? It's an Apple Watch for your eyes. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't, that doesn't help. That do oh, you can see her eyes! Wire, wire confirmed. We're gonna, we're gonna power it in our pocket. Okay, so far it feels more like Apple TV on your face. Yeah, yeah. You know, when we, before this we talked about how, it, you know, it's probably gonna be just an enterprise thing or developer thing, but like, they're really advertising this to like home users and like, here's how you can use it in your house. And Whoa, you guys gonna, yeah, yeah, we <laughs> throw away your monitors? Yeah. Are you switching to Final Cut? God, no. So you can dial in the white... I'm gonna get my headset on. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna, I can't wait, I can't wait till we get hired on CMAC gigs to do 3D video. Dude, first person. Like, I mean, the, okay, what Kyle was saying is kind of cool, because yeah, if we do a walkthrough, his have a headset on and we can walk. We are the products. Yo, vlogs are gonna be crazy. I wonder, yeah, I wonder how the stabilization is for moving. Storytelling. Oh no, Ron DeSantis is gonna outlaw Vision Pro in Florida. Oh no. Are you gonna, are you gonna Wikipedia? Watch, watch the Mandalorian. While you're in the speeder, that, it's a little much, but it's kind of cool. I have a view of the How many glass screens are going to be broken and brought so to the many. Genius Bar? So many Genius Bar reservations for broken glass. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. A separate battery means that you don't wear that it's, weight on your head. 
The soft aluminum form slips easily into your pocket. Oh, that's where all those iPhone snap-on batteries went. Whoa! Did any of you watch that Bruce Willis movie where he was like, where you like control a fake version of you? Uh, I, I, I don't even remember what the movie's called, but it feels like that. Uh, it was called Surrogates. All right, final guess. How much is it going to cost? Uh, $2,500. Yes. I say 800 I don't know what we're talking about. Is it a headset? The headset. Is it a headset? Oh. 3000 3000 4000 4000 We're doing, uh, we're doing, uh, Price is Right, Price is right rules. All right. Ben said eight. Or, alternatively, price later this fall. Like ooh, ooh, they might not, they might not say. I remember when the original iPad was rumored to be $9.99 and then they blew everyone away saying it was $4.99 for the base model. It was like 16 gigs, but... I think this is going to be close to 5,000. You think this is going to be 5,000? It'd be amazing if they could get this down to 1,000, but yeah, it seems really tough with all this tech in it. But yeah, like you said, they're like definitely like showing off all the like common things, watching your TV shows and playing Apple Arcade games. So, ah, uh, hard to say, hard to say. $34.99. So I think you had the, you said 2,500, what, what did you say? Yeah, oh, oh, I, I said too high, I said four. You gonna wear Vision Pro all, all throughout your life? So expensive. So expensive. Ben, would you would you ride the bus wearing some Vision Pro? No. So here's the thing, right? I think because like, well, it's so expensive that like they talk about using it in the home so much. Like everyday people are just going to be using the Vision Pro for things, but at that price, it's not really feasible. But if they offer a payment plan, like you can do. Oh, th there's definitely yeah. Yeah. They're going to do a 12 month. Exactly. Yeah. I'm at, so, like, with that, I'm actually curious how many people are gonna are gonna do it. You know, like, is it hundred bucks a month, couple hundred bucks a month? Yeah. For a year or something like. Oh. I feel like it will be like a year plan. I feel like it'd be like a two year plan. It'll just be like iPhone Pro Maxes now, where that's the normal. Everyone gets that. It was just like. Yeah. yeah, this is your payment for three years. Alex, you gonna wear a headset all, all throughout your life? No, not for me. So I do think this probably would have been great to have before the pan. Oh, what is this video? The uh, I feel like, yeah, if, if the global panini had happened and people were at home and by themselves, but like, now we're in a room together. I'm not going to be talking to you guys yeah. wearing a headset. That's so silly. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I, I, I've been proven wrong many times before, but we'll see. Right. You don't think it's going gonna, it's gonna to take over the world? I mean, You're going to see people walking down the street? Definitely go that way, but I don't, yeah. I think there has to be, like, some practical uses for it, you know, because, like, you're not going to have everybody in your household wearing one of these things, right? Which... Maybe. Each family member sitting down at dinner wearing their headset. Well, like, even like professionally, right? Like, what, what is the advantage of like editing videos through a headset versus just on a computer with multiple screens? Privacy. Privacy, sure. You can take it anywhere. Uh, so you're not locked down to your desk at all, really. I mean, I don't know. I, I think we'll have to wait and see. Also, just how good it is. Like, I, you know, yeah, it, they're, they're, even they're like, we can't convey how good this 3D uh, screen is on our, on our 2D presentation. So, going to the Apple Store sounds like an absolute nightmare to me. But I would go to the <laughs> Apple Store to try one of these out and be like, how good is it? What's All right, are we are we going? Are let's we do go? it. Yeah, I, I want to know what the value proposition is. You know, I want to because I love VR stuff, and it's like, ah. I don't know that I could justify it, but I want to be able to justify it, you know, if it's yeah. really good. Yeah. So. All right, well, let's finish uh, in here, I guess, and then we'll, we'll, we'll have a new tour. studio update, yeah. Studio tour. I skipped a few steps, but the studio cameras are installed and they look hella clean. But not only did we install the studio cameras, we also installed the Blackmagic ATEM HD8 switcher 
an iMac to run video. We're gonna clean up these cables a little bit more, but it is working. It is glorious. Uh, we'll do studio production soon. Uh, Monroe review next week. We're all done. What's your new favorite part of the setup? That it's done. <laughs> <laughs> ben, what's your favorite part of the setup? The iMac. Yeah. Good work, everybody. We'll see you later.